Would C.L. Hannon please contact Extension 612, the infamous C.L. Hannon? Would you please call 612? Horses are on the track for race six at DuCoin. The County Fair Challenge Series began right here in 1986. Points are kept throughout the year on the five statewide Illinois County Fair touring divisions that are restricted for Illinois breads, and horses that accumulate the most points in each division qualify for these $10,000 championships. Here are the starters for this County Fair Challenge. Two-year-old Illinois bred trotting fillies. One is Grandmother Pierce, owned by Drew Pierce, Michael Williams, and Buddy Simpson of Anchorage, Alaska, and Fairfield, Illinois, trained and driven by Buddy Simpson. The 1A is BP's Love, owned by H. Phil Pierce of Carmine, Buddy Simpson of Fairfield, trained by Buddy Simpson, driven by Clay Simpson. Number two, Casa, owned by Carol and Buddy Graham of Salem, trained and driven by Buddy Graham. Number three, Classy Kathy Chassie, owned by Jerry Mims of Vardaman, Mississippi, trained and driven by John David Finn. Number four, Mamita, owned by Kenneth Smith of Columbia, South Carolina, trained and driven by Mike Brink. Number five, Dance in Action, owned by Brad Price of Carrollton, trained by Hugh Meek Jr., Eric Ledford in the bike. Number six, Cocktail Peanuts, owned by Bill and Marta Alanya of Seymour, trained and driven by Bill Alanya. Number seven, Holly's Emulation, owned by Gary Williams of Milan, Illinois, trained by Jerry Robinson, the driver is Andy Miller. Number eight is Holly's Millennium, owned by Conley, Winters, Hoots, and Gregerson of Illinois and Missouri, trained by Doug Talley. It is Dale Heitman who is in the bike. And number nine, Trotton Connection, owned by Merle and Cheryl Allen of Camden, trained and driven by Alan Bowen. That's the field, win, play, show, and exact wagering offered. Four minutes till post, a began. Back in the mid-1980s, they raced for purses of $8,000 per division. By the mid-90s, that had tailed off to $5,000. Now it has come back up to the $10,000 level. They're an eighth of a mile from the start. Here they come. They're off and trotting. BP's Love goes out for the lead. Dance in Action is right there. Casa down toward the inside. Then Classy Kathy Chassie and Mamita. Cocktail Peanuts has made a break heading into the first turn. And there goes Dance in Action up to get the lead by two lengths from Casa in second. Classy Kathy Chassie in third. BP's Love is fourth. And moving up around Mamita who goes in fifth. Holly's Millennium is racing in the sixth position. Followed by Holly's Emulation who trots in seventh. Trotten Connection is next. A long way back then to the trailer who is Cocktail Peanuts as Grandmother Pierce moves up a couple of spots from the back and gets over toward the rail. 29 and 3 the time for the opening quarter. Dance in action leading Casa by a length down the back stretch to Classy Kathy Chassie in third. BP's Love then Mamita. Top five or single file against the rail. And now there goes Holly's Millennium to the outside from sixth followed by Holly's Emulation. Grandmother Pierce is next. Then Trotten Connection and Cocktail Peanuts is last. At the half-mile mark, Dance in Action leading Casa. They were there in a minute, three-fifths. Headed to the far turn, Classy Kathy Chassie is third. Holly's Millennium is fourth on the outside, just over two lengths off the lead, followed by Holly's Emulation. Then BP's Love, Mamita, Grandmother Pierce is in the outer flow of traffic. Still seven lengths off the lead, followed by Trotten Connection, and Cocktail Peanuts is last. At the three quarters, they're being led by Dance in Action. By nearly two, Casa second toward the inside. Holly's Millennium is still parked in third. Then Classy Kathy Chassie and BP's Love off three quarters in 131 and three fifths. Dance in action, leading Casa by just a length. Holly's Millennium on the outside is still third, still two lengths away. Then Classy Kathy Chassie is fourth inside of BP's Love, moving by the eighth pole. Dance in action with Casa coming on between horses. Holly's Millennium is still moving. Holly's Millennium has been out a long, long way and just keeps grinding and coming at the leaders. Casa is there. Mamita late move. Then BP's Love at the line. Holly's Millennium gets up three parts of a length over Casa in second. Close for third, either BP's Love or Mamita for the third spot in 202 and 1. Casa was second. The 1A, BP's Love was third. And the 4, Mamita was fourth. Into the winner's circle, owned by Conley, Winters, Hoots, and Gregerson, trained by Doug Talley, driven by Dale Heitman. Here's the winner, Holly's Millennium. It's official. This filly by Croyd and Hanover scores the win number five on the year. Brenda Watson making the trophy presentation. Doug Talley is the winning trainer. Doug, this filly's been... 
a very consistent kind of filly. Seven times and ten starts in the top three coming into today's race. How about this afternoon? Although I believe you did go off the favorite. Any concerns going into the race today, especially with the post position? Well, I didn't know if she could stay out there all that long and hold on, but she proved she could, so maybe she did have business being in the big one. I don't know. Well, she did prove she certainly belonged here today, but looking down the road, there are still some major stakes left in Illinois. Going to give your uh, filly a whirl in Chicago maybe later this year. Yeah, she's old for all of them with the Lady Land Lincoln, so we're going to go in all the others who stay sound. All right, so there are some stakes races coming up in Chicago, probably in that thirty to forty to fifty thousand dollar range that this filly will be gunning for later in the year. So, Doug, good luck when you head to the Windy City. Thank you. Best Doug Talley. He's the winning trainer. More in a moment. 